Welcome to the club. I keep asking myself, Lacey, why don't you do something to liven up your life? And my answer is always, okay, what? I just can't believe you're not happy. I can't believe you're not happy. <laughs> well, I'm not unhappy. I'm just not cooking on all four burners. You took the proverbial words from... <laughs> Hello. Lacey? Kate! How's it going, babe? Good. <laughs> Couldn't be better. Mommy, look what your son just did. Well, why doesn't my daughter help clean it up? Inez will clean it up when she gets here. But Inez isn't here yet, honey. Then she's late. Yeah, I know, I know. <sighs> you still there, Kate? Still here. Listen, for that time. No, no, not at all. What's that? I know it's not your fault, Mrs. Colbert, but if this bus strike continues one more day, I'm tendering my resignation. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Oh, Katie, I completely forgot. Now, let's see. Uh, I have to go out to the airport, the market, the bank, the cleaners, the shoe repair, and then to the hardware store, which is next door to the Blind Face Cafe. Can we meet there at one and make it a quickie? Terrific. I'll meet you there at one. <gasps> And I thought I was freaking out, Breezy. Alice, I just made a lunch date for one. Would you see what else I have today? Um, edit copy, lay out next month's issue, see that porno film. Porno film? First one directed by a woman. Oh. Uh, and a cocktail party. Black tie optional, turquoise mandatory. Figures. I wish I got invited to all the happening. I wish I didn't. In fact, I wish I got invited anywhere. My name is Alice Wright. Miss Wright. What's wrong? Alice, is there anything you enjoy more than putting yourself down? Having somebody else put me down? Would you like my opinion? No. You're too desperate, man. Guys can smell your desperation a mile away. In your case, they can smell it all the way to Palm Springs. Good Morgan, build up her confidence. I wish somebody would build up mine. This is the third article you blue penciled this month. I don't want to do another article putting down men. She is a magazine, not a vendetta. Morgan wasn't so busy trying to steal your job. This is turning into a lame magazine, man. We're not getting into anything. I don't think it's getting into anything to do a cover story on gay baseball umps. Oh, come on, guys. I came out to look at my calendar. Can't I have one day in my life without hassle? Hey, I need to have a word with you. The word is no, she's hassled. But this is muy importante. The only thing muy importante about you is the fact that you couldn't find your socks this morning. Whew. Where does all that incredible hostility for men come from? From men. Are you hep to the fact you don't even take me seriously as a psychologist? Yes, I am hep to it. Would you like to know why? I'm all ears. Because most psychologists got a picture of Freud on their wall. You are the only shrink I ever met with a picture of Dear Abby. Okay, fellas, mellow out. I'm not into hostel today. We've got a magazine to publish, remember? Which is exactly why I am here. Because of the semi-incredible success of my monthly Who Are You column. Well, I have come up with an idea that is going to knock you out. I want to write a column called Who Am I? self-portrait? See, every month, I ask myself questions. Sydney, I don't want you on salary while you're trying to find yourself. Anyway, we know who you are. Yeah, an expletive deleted. Now, you run along and write your regular column, which was due two days ago, and you go think up a sane feature so that you can steal my job, and would you please try to think of something else to put down beside yourself? I am going to go into my office and collapse. 